and you see what's happening now. They're going to let Kaylin ball. Kaylin made her own shots. It's almost like at one point, Kaylin said, let me use my mama mentality. And she had the Grinch shoes on. She was the Grinch out there, that bitch, guys. She was the Grinch that stole another game from Angel Reese. <laughs> God. You got to love it, guys. Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Chocolatty with the Sexy Body, and welcome to a new episode of Chocolatty Plays Reactions VS Love. We're talking about Kalen. We talk about Kalen after a great game. It's nothing that the haters are saying. What? Guess what? I told y'all. Didn't I tell y'all? I told y'all. I don't think that she's tired. I don't think she's tired. I think that she wasn't meshing well with her teammates. Or, dig this, her teammates just wasn't up to speed with her. They're just not up to speed with her. And I take it back, Kaylin, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kaylin, and to all you Kaylin fans out there who got mad or who get mad. But your passes, your turnovers, they ain't not all your fault. They, they not. They not. These girls just can't catch. They not in the right spaces. And I know what you want to do every time you do it, Kaylin, but these ain't your Iowa teammates. That's what it is. These ain't your Iowa teammates. This is a whole new team. You're in a whole new scheme. That's why this shit didn't look right in the beginning. Can I cuss just a little bit? Just a little bit. That's why this, it didn't look right in the, in the beginning. Your coach over there want to utilize Mitchell and Boston because this was day team before you got there. Understand what I'm saying, guys? Boston is a all-star. She was rookie of the year. Mitchell led that team in points. And then in comes Caitlin. Mitchell didn't want to give up her spot. And Boston didn't want Mitchell's spot to be gone. That's why she never passed the ball to Kaylin either. If you go look at how Mitchell plays, Mitchell don't pass that damn ball to Kaylin to save her damn life. This is the first time I've ever seen Kaylin get a pass off of a screen so she can get set up for a three-pointer. This is the first time. This is how she plays, and she can't play like that if her teammates ain't going to follow. And it was all Mitchell and Boston's fault. Yeah, yeah, you know, we got the coach over there, and, and she calls the X's and O's of the game, right? She calls the plays. But when it comes down to it, Mitchell and Boston have to be like, you know what? This is no longer our team. This is Caitlin's team. And we need to build around her. This is like Tom Brady, guys. This is like fucking Tom Brady. When they brought Tom Brady over there to the Buccaneers, they put him into a scheme. And they built around him. And they brought his partner, Grunk, with him. Caitlin ain't got none of her partners over there on that team. It's just her. So she got to make do. And all y'all got to follow. That's been the problem, guys. That has been the problem. I told you, I did not feel like she was tired because she a hooper. She plays basketball, guys. Do any of y'all, any of y'all fans out there watching her play, have y'all ever played sports before? Like real life, and I talk about competitive to the point where you were good. You were good. People, your name was in the paper on the weekend. Were you that person? Because if you were that person, you'll know that Kayla's not tired. I do this. She said it before in an interview. She said it. I'm going to go back and try to find it. But she was like, oh, no, I don't get tired of things like this. I mean, it's basketball and I play basketball. That's what she said. I had to believe it, guys, because she's good. It wasn't her. It was her teammates. Mitchell didn't want to give her per spot. Did y'all see that? Mitchell was trying to do everything in that game. But in the second half, it's like she was like, you know what? Let me give this to Caitlin. So that Caitlin, you just go ahead and take over. Straight up, because Caitlin came out the gate, fast seven points, fast seven, boom, nine. And then she didn't score no more. She didn't score no more. Why? Because Mitchell started hogging the ball, and she started trying to find Boston. Don't y'all think it looks so much more prettier when Caitlin finds Boston? Don't y'all? Even, even Boston don't even recognize the shit. She passed the ball to Boston one time. Boston was wide open, and she just looked at the basket, and then she passed the damn ball. She didn't realize what was happening. That would have been uh, Caitlin's 10th assist right there. I mean, she had to knock down the shot, but I believe in Boston. Boston can hoop. She can hoop. She just was deferring too much to Mitchell, and Mitchell would never get a ball back to Caitlin. I've I seen it a couple of times, Caitlin go and stand in the corner. I've seen it a couple of times. She was frustrated. So, you know what? Let, let's look at, it, let, let, look at this. She ain't, she, she's not tired. She's tired of that fucking team. She was frustrated with their bullshit. How many times did y'all see her throw her hands up in disgust? She was like, fuck, again? She's like, damn, I'm passing the ball right to you. Why are you not catching that shit? That's how Kaylin feels out there. I promise that's how she feels. Because I saw it in her face. She did like three or four times. She was just like, man, I'm over this. But that second half, 
They said, yo, let's get behind Kayla. Let's do this. And shout out to Naisa Smith. That's, I, I, I think that's one of my, my favorite, my new favorite players in the WNBA. She's a fucking baller, guys. Did y'all see her get at it? Boy, she got at it. God damn. And Reese, they was right. <laughs> I saw Reese get like 70 rebounds in a row off of her missed shots. <laughs> but she get in there and bang too. She get in there and bang. And you made yourself the villain. You put the goddamn um, uh, uh, Joker shoes on. He had Joker shoes on in the game. What that made, Caitlin? I told y'all. Did I see my last thumbnail? She's Wonder Woman. Somebody said she's Batman. That means she's a man. She ain't no man. She's a woman. She's all woman. <laughs> she Wonder Woman out there, guys. Maybe make a cat woman. <laughs> I guess around with the cat, the Caitlin, Caitlin woman. I don't know. Somebody gave me a name for. Her. I don't know. But this was a great game, guys. This was a awesome game that we uh, were on display to. This is an awesome game that was shown to us, guys. I appreciated it. My whole family watched the damn game. The whole family. We was all up in that mug cheering. Yay. Yay. This is a good game. And they pulled the way on their ass. But we, Kaylin, you need some trees. You need a tree to be out there with you, man. Because shit, Cardosa, couldn't nobody get the rebound over her. Nobody. She wasn't even jumping. She was just standing there and holding her hands up in the air and get, get the ball every time. Because everybody's so short on the FIBA team. They so short. But Smith, oh, she came through balling. Boy, she balled out this game. Everybody, <clears throat> this is what I told y'all. This was a winning effort from the entire team. Once Mitchell slowed down, she's like, yo, let me get this over to Kaylin. Like the only, the only bad, the only negative I saw in that game, like really was Wheeler. Wheeler. <laughs> Wheeler is the, 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 what you call it? The weak link on this team? That's Wheeler. She's the weak link, guys. Oh, my God. She blew a wide open layup. She tried to do a layup at the rim. Use the backboard, guys. That's what y'all good. Use the backboard. <laughs> wide open layup. And then she go walk around, look at all. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe you did it either. Because <laughs> she was wide open. And I hope your coach cussed you out when you came to the sideline. Matter of fact, did y'all notice? At one point, when it started getting out of hand, because you cannot have Mitchell and Wheeler in the game at the same time. You got to have Kaitlyn in there in one of them spots. Either Kaitlyn and, and Wheeler or, or, or Kaitlyn and Mitchell. But not, not Wheeler and Mitchell ever. Ever, 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 ever. They started losing when that happened. And, and, and that's the fastest I ever seen coach, coach sides put Kaitlyn back in the game. I know y'all heard that uh, her her former coach in Iowa, Lisa Blunder. I know y'all heard that the uh, the I think it was the GM of the Fever, somebody at, at, in the Fever had gotten contact with her. I think that sides saw that shit and was like, oh hell no, nah, I gotta get this shit right. I ain't gonna take my job here, Kaylin. You can have it. Did y'all see how it looked when they was running and gunning out there? That's what Kaylin's used to. When they started running and gunning, boy, I was I was hype. Ain't nobody going to be able to keep up with that game because the way Kaylin can pass, she can pass that rock, bro. Like she's, she's a step ahead of Plum. She's a step ahead of, of Sabrina. Like I, I promise she is. She is. It's just that her teammates are what they wasn't on the same page. I bet you their ass is now. I bet you their ass going to get on the same page now. They got time to get it together too. They got some time. They ain't playing tonight. I don't think they play tomorrow either. I don't think they play again until like Thursday. Good. Give these people some time to, to gel and mesh because it wasn't them being tired, guys. It was the fact that they didn't know each other. And you see what's happening now. They're going to let Kaylin ball. Kaylin made her own shots. It's almost like at one point Kaylin said, let me use my mom mentality. And she had the Grinch shoes on. She was the Grinch out there, that bitch, guys. She was the Grinch that stole another game from Angel Reese. <laughs> God. Okay. You got to love it, guys. You got to love it. Look. This is my time. This is my time, man. I want to keep it short and sweet. We had the eight-minute mark. I want y'all to be able to make it all the way through this thing. And if you do, man, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that like button. Hit that notification so you know when your boy drop videos. Yo, who y'all got tonight for the finals? It's game five, man. Mavs versus the Celtics. I, I, I said it that the Luka was going to get one game. There's no way in hell that guy, what he does, he's a walking triple-double, which is going to roll over and let the Celtics win. Also, this is a thing. Parzingis. If Parzingis plays tonight, the Celtics are going to win because they don't have an answer for him at all. And on top of that, that boy Kyrie is cursed in the garden. He's cursed. He's one in five in that bitch. 
He, he a matter of fact, I think he might be, he might be zero. I don't know, but it's it's consecutive lose losses there. He's cursed in the garden. They put just bad juju on him, and he ain't, he ain't gonna be able to make it. He ain't gonna be able to make it. But oh well, like I want to see Tatum get it. I want I want to see Tatum get him a championship because of how much he honored Kobe. That's why I want to see him get a championship because the boy he got the 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 patch the the Kobe things like he probably wear it tonight. I bet you he wear it tonight. I think it's on his fingers, hands, or on his arm. But I bet you he wear that shit tonight in honor of Kobe, guys. Caitlyn in honor of Kobe. She put the mob of mentality on their ass out there yesterday, guys. Oh, and happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to you, boys out there. That's why I didn't do a video yesterday because I, I wanted to do the video after the game, but I was being a dad. <laughs> and I was spending time with my family, guys. So all y'all out there. I wish y'all well. Take care. You know what you got to do? Like I said, please subscribe, like button, notification. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, y'all take care. Peace.